Did you know that Twitch isn't exclusive to gamers? In fact, Twitch is a streaming platform for just about any genre, with the most popular category on Twitch being just chatting. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're going to discuss some categories on Twitch that are often overlooked. But more importantly, we're going to talk about how large these categories really are. For instance, the just chatting category on Twitch in the last seven days had 320,000 hours worth of watch time, according to TwitchTracker.com. This is nearly double that of the number two spot, Grand Theft Auto V, with 200,000 hours of watch time. Outside of the just chatting category, we have music and sports coming in the number 15 and number 19 spots. After that, we have art coming in the number 29 spot and podcast coming in the number 37 spot. This is important because not only are people using Twitch for game streams, they're using it for fun events, discussion, and community. Speaking of community, if you haven't yet, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Twitch's just chatting category is filled with a variety of different streams. Among the more popular streams in this category are as the category title states, just chatting. Recently, we saw the stream Ludwig accomplish 273,000 subs on Twitch after a 31 day subathon, which broke the previous sub record Ninja held at 271,000 subs. For those of you that aren't familiar, a subathon works on a timer. When someone subscribes to the channel, the counter increases. Ludwig's subathon was quite simple. He streamed as long as the subathon continued. Every sub on his channel increased the timer by 10 seconds. This led to a subathon that lasted 31 days in total and ended with 273,000 subs. This wasn't accomplished by playing a video game, it was accomplished in the just chatting category and some other categories throughout the 31 day period where he mostly was just chatting with his audience. The next non-game category on Twitch is the music category. Music on Twitch is like running a live show, except for it's virtual, on Twitch. There are very impressive bands, DJs, drummers, and singers that hang out in the music category. For this segment of the video, I want to talk about a very specific streamer that streams frequently in this category, and he goes by the name Mr. Greggles. Mr. Greggles is a drummer with next level creativity. He is able to capture his audience with a very advanced streaming setup set of stream art and overlays, making him, in my opinion, one of the best streamers in the music category. If you're a musician, I suggest you spend some time streaming in the music category on Twitch and seeing if it's a good fit for you. The next category I wanted to cover was podcast and talk shows. Similar to many other live streaming platforms, you can stream your podcast live to Twitch. I find the podcast category on Twitch very compelling because of the amount of interactive features Twitch has. With Twitch, you can set up a variety of commands, channel point redemptions, sub badges, and art that will separate you and your podcast from other podcasts. With podcasts being in the top 40 most watched streams on Twitch, it's very important that you take a look at how powerful a good podcast on Twitch can be. I also suggest you take a look at the art and sports categories on Twitch. The art category is frequented by designers, animators, and painters. The Joys of Painting was a very popular show back in the 80s hosted by Bob Ross. Funny enough, Bob Ross actually has his own Twitch channel now where they play episodes from The Joys of Painting. This channel actually has 1,500 congruent viewers, meaning it always has over 1,500 viewers. This goes to show how well a really good art stream can perform on Twitch. If you're a designer, if you're a painter, or some sort of artist, you might consider streaming to Twitch as you work on the things that you work on. The sports category is a popular category for those of you that are interested in sports cards, unpacking sports cards, talking about sports, or even watching the NFL games. Recently, the NFL partnered up with Twitch and they're streaming their games onto Twitch. In conclusion, there are a variety of different channels worth checking out on Twitch. If you do any of the above activities, you should consider using Twitch as a streaming platform for your content. To stream to Twitch, it's relatively easy. All you need to do is follow the guide that we've linked in the description below. That will show you how to stream to Twitch using our application StreamYard. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. I want to thank you all for watching this video and I will catch you in a future one. Peace.